And welcome back. Hope everybody had a nice week and uh, happy Fourth of July to all the Americans out there. Uh, got a, a little bit of a UEC. Was able to sneak around for it. Um, got a roof it, and it is a 227. It's a little bit low on the uh, server count today. I think due to the holiday. Uh, 113 on the CSA versus 114 on the Union. Let's see on the CSA team we have the SB, the two core. LFL, 6 Texas, and 56 Virginia. Leadership, we've got Slaughter, Ice Star, Venom, So, and Hookah. Let's take a look at the Arty. Looks like we got three. We've got Leo, DSB, we've got Two Core under Sherman, and Forbin leading the cannon from the LFL on the Union side. We have the AGL under Desai. And Baron leading the Jeff Davis battery. I'm sorry. All right. See, as we come across the river here, see all these units coming up. We have AGL under Juicy B, 52nd under Mendez. See, we've got the 4th Georgia under McIntyre. Then we have 3rd Alabama under Williamson. 20th Georgia under John Wilkes Booth. And I think that's everybody. Yeah, that does appear to be everybody. As they are coming on up over the river, through the woods. To Johnny's house they go. Or something. See some initial counter battery coming in. Ooh, wow, good counter. Looks like they uh, did some damage to these poor guys. In the meantime, we got a major push here from this Union team on the Union right. There's uh, one small element out here kind of giving some intercepting fire. It is the 56. They are in a rough spot here if they stay here. Oh, shot a little bit high, that unit. This? Uh, Fort George a little bit too high on those shots. Now there's no sprinting and no bayonets per the new rules, so uh, we might see some distant shooting here for the first uh, remaining eight minutes of the match. Getting a little bit high on those shots. You don't want to aim for the smoke, you want to aim below the smoke. Smoke rises. Like we got... Uh, 20th is trying to get on to the flank here a bit. Run over there, head back around. Swing over, see how two cores doing over here. Nice volley coming in. Slamming it to two core. Looks <laughs> like we got 56 here doing some skirmishing against the Yardie over here, trying to keep them a little bit silent. Looks like some counter battery coming in as well. Both teams. We do have some forward movement here by Williamson along the fourth Reform ranks, boys. Reform ranks. Double ranks. Fill the gaps. Break reloads. Fill the gaps. C4 George is taking a lot of hits right now, though. Break reloads. Right face. Double crack on me. Double crack on me. Right face. Double crack. Come on. 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 Come
I like the positioning of 3rd Alabama there in the woods, or the bushes, I should say, not the woods. Same thing with 6 Texas. Um, there's a bit of a danger with it because you're a, uh, it's an easy um, position to zero in on for Artie, but if Artie's not going to target you too much, that's a good way to uh, position your man, get some good concealment. These easily recognizable terrain features, though, the Artie can zero in on very quickly. But so far, the Artie is not really taking advantage of it. <laughs> so the Artie's starting to hang there, but they're really not hitting the third Alabama, they're a little bit short. So far, the CSA has been doing a decent job of keeping the casualties down while inflicting a decent amount on the Union. Let's see if they can keep this up. East, east. As east as it gets. Yeah, but that's our left flank, and I see only Kaboom units over there. Okay. For the time being. I wasn't sure if it's ours or not. Uh, okay. Uh, I target the Union line that just moved up there. Yep. Play a gun ready. Uh... Uh, a little bit short on that shot. Oh, poor 20th though got tore up though by infantry fire. Now Fort George is taking this fire. You can't really be out by yourself, you gotta kinda present a united front. Any unit that kinda goes out in front of the others becomes a bullet magnet. That's a good already shot. Okay, the Yeah. Choose the Yeah. Choose the the Yeah. the 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 now, nice thing about the cab is the reload times, um, kneeling and um, standing are the same, so you really you don't lose any of your fire rates um, by kneeling as the cab. You maintain the same fire rate, so. Where's the fourth? Where's Gucci? Uh, I got bad dudes, Fuji. Um, they had an early retirement ceremony. And we got uh, 1 minute 20 seconds until we got bayonets and sprinting. Let's see if that changes up the battle at all. Uh, 
Ooh, now this CSA unit out here is getting kind of beat up here. Now they're the ones that are by themselves getting kind of pinged. And in fact, we got a forward movement here by the Union. No felt hold, but they're starting to lose their ticket advantage. See, bayonets are now alive. Still got 56 out here harassing the RD. Um, but now you see the Union has evened out the tickets quite a bit. They're still a little bit behind, but uh, they're a little bit closer now. Third Alabama is going to start moving up here. Oh, we have an attack going on. And the LFL is going to try to get out of there. And retreat to friendly lines. Now here comes six Texas to kind of relieve them. And cover the retreat. But uh, I wouldn't stay out here for too long. I get another flanking maneuver here. This time by Fort Georgia, trying to get on to the uh, left side of the CSA. They're taking some fire here from the remnants of the SB. You see, six Texas has been wiped out. Uh, they were able to cover LFL, but at the sacrifice of themselves. Some already coming in, try to give cover to that uh, CSA force. Looks like the Fort George has been wiped out, though, so I think the flank is secure for now, which is going to be a big uh, advantage here for the CSA if they can maintain this position. I think Guardy's doing a good job of disrupting this force over here. And Union is the first to go to engaged at the 27 minute mark. for the Union right now is they're all boxed into this one point. They don't, really don't have any other angles of fire going on. And the CSA just has them in a nice bowl. Um, we'll see though, if they could stay together and masked up and keep their fire up, they might be able to do okay. But I think the already might uh, upset these plans for them. We'll see.
see the CSA still trying to get better angles here. The Union's holding, though. I think they're happy to make this a big gunfight. You can see now that they have this angle of fire, they're getting some really good shots in on it. As it kind of invalidates some of their forward cover, as you can see here. You know, this rock gives you cover against this angle, less so on this angle. Cover is usually directional. Sometimes it's not. You know, sometimes you, you know, you're in like a trench or something. You got multi-directional, but usually, like this rock here, it gives you cover from one angle, not necessarily everywhere. So. Third Alabama is going to try to move up, but they are uh, exposed. They're going to have to continue to cross this field here. We'll see if they can make it across with enough combat power. But they are getting torn to shreds here crossing this field. And I don't think they're going to have enough. Nope. And they have been massacred going across this field. Try to get their flag back at the very least. In the meantime, we got another forward movement here by this time by AGL. Enemy to the front, enemy to the right. They're charging left side, they're charging left. Oh, I'll take it! I got right in the Fuck. You have a charge here by the 6th Texas. Who are just able to uh, knock back to 52nd. But I don't think they will, uh... They haven't fully taken that position yet. And now we've seen the Union has moved up here, but they're now just even further into this bowl. And in fact, they are more vulnerable now. And we have who is moving up here. It is Hookah and the LFL with some great flanking fire into them. And they are going to have to fall back from that position or be slaughtered. Back they go. Union now almost uh, almost on taking losses at this point. They are having a lot of trouble here. I and mean, they moved up together, which was good, but then the CSA wrapped around them and they really kind of just froze. And they really weren't able to attack out of it. They tried, but it was just too much open ground to cover um, with the units they were trying to uh, assign for those missions. And they just got torn to pieces. Oh, look at him coming through the field, north northwest. Look at him. Look at this guy. Oh no. Alright, 
убегают, на лево убегают. Агу! Заряжай, не плохо. Заряжай, не плохо. As they scamper out of there. Although Six Texas now is pretty vulnerable to a flank attack if they want to launch an attack. Kick! Do we see as a habit of not capping um, as the attack, which I always find strange? Um, Looks like these guys were all stuck in kind of a counter battery problem right now, which so they did bring a cannon all the way up here. Oh, we got a charge over here, though. Elvel has broken the Union right over here. Although that was might have been a costly charge, because now here comes 20th George is going to try to catch him as they retreat. And the Union is now at taking losses, but they... I think this charge by the LFL might have been too costly. Look at the tickets now. Um, getting close now to taking losses themselves. That might have been a uh, mistake there. 20 George is kind of running out of steam as well here. Finishing off what they can with LFL. Where the fuck's that, man? All right, boys. All right, left face, double quick. Five out left march. Let's go, boys. And shall we... That will secure that flank and help out on tickets quite a bit. Vale, vamos a mantener aquí un rato para ir reformando. Two cores gonna fall back a little bit. Six Texas, uh, I don't think it's ideal to stay back there to reload. As you can see, they're taking a lot of losses over in that position. They're already coming in there, and you got 50 second kind of overwatch in that position. Time third Alabama got nailed by that already. Now here comes AGL trying to move up. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, we're coming to the right, right of the spike lane here. Prepare to roll. Oh, keep it moving, keep it moving. This third Alabama has now been basically rendered combat ineffective. Quick time, forward, march. Kind of presenting their flank here to the CSA. Um, I mean, they do have 52nd here as kind of a flank guard, so as long as they can keep LFL busy. But um, the CSA is now at taking losses. I don't think these guys will be able to stand up here for very long. Let's see, the uh, eyes of the LFL is just ignoring these guys here and concentrating their fire on this angle here. And that is going to end this... Uh, little attack here. Now 20th is getting hammered here. You're not moving out together, you're kind of moving up as individual units and you see what happens here. 56 putting in some other additional flank blanket fire over here with their skirms. Not a good day for the Union here. Well behind the CSA. Thank you. 
Así que venga, paso ligero. Paso Marcha. ligero. Vamos, vamos. Compañía. Alto. Alto. Ahí los tenéis delante. Ah, apunten. Ah, apunten. ¡Fuego! Venga, buena. Los tenéis ahí delante, va. Sudest, les gars, sudest, pas à gauche. Sudest. Bah, ils arrivent, prépare. Attends, ils chargent, je crois. So the Union's trying to move up, but uh, they kind of got hit pretty hard on this reverse slope here. Get on the left! And a counterattack by the CSA. I don't know about this. Um, it might piss away a lot of tickets here unnecessarily. So now LFL can't really shoot into them. As you can see, the Union was able to hold on. Well, George is going to try a charge here and catch LFL. As they're kind of in the process of retreating, this might actually work out pretty well for them. Get you some nice out of lines. They don't have too many men, though, so it's not going to. And out too much here. Hey, nice job, boys. Good shit. Far side, left side. No! And the Union's going to attack through here. They got an opportunity to win this, I think, as the CSA, I think, overextend themselves. Here comes the SB to try to close the door on him. Kill those Yankees, boys! Good job by the SB staying in reserve there. Might have saved the CSA. You're about halfway down from breaking. Uh, CSA not too far away from breaking themselves. So we'll see. They got a little bit of time left here, the Union does, so they can get organized and try to do another push. I don't think they'll get them to the last stand, so they're going to have to win this on uh, probably on this next push here. And they're going to get put on the final push here fairly soon. Kill that flag. 
Compañeros en armas, nosotros ganaremos esta batalla. Comes the attack by Williamson. He's going to target the skirmishers first. It's like Williams is going to try to get onto the flank here. It's not a bad location. It's going to be pretty vulnerable to arty fire, though. Still going to try to do this wide maneuver here. Gaster yeah, coming in. A very wide flank here by Third Alabama. All the way around. See if it's worth it. I'm breaking me. And I might have to cut this short. I'm sorry, guys. Go, final charge coming in. Elfelds will position a counterattack though. But they're gonna have to start going in about now if they want to stop this cap. And Elfell comes in with the counter attack. Yeah, 
There's the final push. CSA is going to try to push him off a point. And there we go. CSA will win. A tough match. Good attempt there by the end by the Union, but just not quite enough. Um, I might not be able to do the second one. We'll see. Just got started a little bit late. But got to make a call real quick in between, see if I can move something around. But, uh, yeah, tough match. Uh, pretty close. Uh, real good job, though, by the CSA.